Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. All right, so this is another uh, Kettle Sour. Another one I got on Tavor. We'll come back to that in a minute. From Prairie Artisan Ales, Patches Sour Ale with Sour Gummy Candy. Certified colors, FD&C Yellow Number 5. I don't know why they put that right in the front label. It's a pretty funny label. A guy give another guy a wedgie while his wife yells at him. I don't get it. Canned uh, just before Christmas last year, so kind of old. I'm, I don't know why I sat on this for so long. All right, pour it into my Chad's Beer Reviews Nonic Pint Glass. Link in the description below if you want to get your own. And it kind of looks like a, um, almost like a macro lager where it's a uh, kind of yellowish or goldish. Um, pretty hazy. So, I mean, it looks, I know this can't, this lighting doesn't do it justice, but um, I can actually see little particulates floating around in there. Very highly carbonated. And I did get, you know, nice two, two or three fingers of foam. Let's give it a smell. <laughs> I will say this smells exactly like what they're going for. It smells like Sour Patch Kids candy, like a bag of that. Um, I mean, they actually say that it's brewed with, it just says sour gummy candy, but they can't like, I guess, that, you know, for legal reasons, they, maybe it might not actually be Sour Patch Kids. It could be, the Aldi knockoff brand or something, but yeah, it just smells like sour gummy candy. Um, it does have a kind of um, Berliner Weiss kind of quality to it. Like I almost get like, I think like a little bit of like coriander or orange peel or something like that. Maybe salt, but nah, I don't think salt, but um, I mean, it's like a bit of a sea breeze character to it, but otherwise, I mean, it just smells like Sour Patch Kids candy. I'm, I'm surprised there's not tons of beers with a Sour Patch Kids, you know, parody or something like that. But anyway, let's see what this one's about. Cheers. <laughs> I will say it tastes pretty much as it smells. Like Sour Patch Kids candy. <sighs> I mean, no, it has a... Uh, def it definitely has like a lot of um, crossover between uh, like Urban Artifact and some of the other, you know, Kettle Sours. Um, it just has like that, I think it's malic acid. That's like the, uh, that's what gives uh, sour candy its sourness. Yeah, so it's sour, but at the same time, it's like oddly refreshing. Then again, a Berliner Weiss also is too, and that's a sour beer. Um, I wouldn't, yeah, I would not say this is salty, not at all. And it does have a, like a slight, slight kind of, um, maybe coriander or, um, some kind of like herbal quality to it. Or maybe, I mean, it's just like, maybe it's just like in my head. Um, oh, that's funny. They did say certified colors, yellow number five or whatever. So, I mean, that would probably explain the yellow. I bet you like when this, before they add the coloring, it's probably like a really gross, like gray color or something like that. I was gonna say, it's actually really refreshing. While it's on my tongue, because a nice level of sourness, but not like extreme. And it's certainly enough to notice. It's interesting because like it's sour, but it's really not that tart, if that makes sense. I mean, well, it's a little tart. I get, you know what it reminds me of? I think what I'm thinking of, it has like a bit of a Sprite quality to it. A little bit of lemon lime kind of flavor in there. It's like, I want to chase this with a, uh, a bottle of Sprite. I'm trying to like dig down in there and like get like the actual base beer thing. I mean, it does taste like a beer for sure. It's not, you know, a hard seltzer, but, um, you know, if you're looking for specific malts and hops, I mean, does anyone even list that, you know? I don't even think like Urban Artifact lists like their malts and hops. They just, you know, it's sour ale with these fruits in it. And I will say, even though like it's clearly the Sour Patch Kids candy kind of taste to it, it doesn't taste like fake, oddly enough. Like it doesn't have any kind of like cloying, you know, artificial sweetener or like some kind of artificial flavor, even though I'm sure it is artificial. By the way, gorgeous lace in a glass. It was just really surprising for a sour, which again, kind of reminds me of like a Berliner Weiss, maybe it goes. I think this would be like a really good introductory sour, you know, cause like a lot of people have had Sour Patch Kids candy or, you know, variants 
or knockoffs or whatever. So to like have that flavor in beer form would be pretty familiar. Like I said, this is sour, but it's not like too intense. I, th- I would say like the actual Sour Patch Kids candy is probably actually more sour than this beer. Um, before we get into the rating, gotta plug Tavor. This was only five ninety nine for this can, which is like half of what I would pay for Prairie at one of the beer stores around here. Usually they're like ten to twelve dollars just for a twelve ounce can or bottle. Um, when I saw this was only six bucks, I'm like, wow, that's a bargain for Prairie. So you know, I grabbed it. I thought, I thought that was a pretty fair deal. So use my link. That'll get you ten dollars off your first purchase, which means you could have got this beer and then another, you know, had another four bucks off another beer. So it's like. You know, or you know, almost two of these beers <laughs> for free on your first purchase. All right, so my score for patches: sour ale with sour gummy candy. Again, uh, well, I don't know if I would say great label. Like the checkerboard pattern is interesting. Like the cartoon characters is funny. Um, but th- yeah, so this is probably like a. I'm gonna give the label a uh, B, maybe B plus. I will be I will be saving this though. I'm gonna give the beer, hmm, I think, seven and a half, maybe eight. So kind of in that B to B plus range. Um, you know, I like that tasty Sour Patch Kids candy flavor to it. My only complaint is like it's just kind of simplistic and repetitive. And um, you know, I will say it does drink like a beer. I do like that the refreshing quality on it, and it's. You know, nice 5.5 ABV. By the way, I didn't really mention mouthfeel or anything like that. So, um, you know, probably put it like medium light body and like high carbonation. I think the high carbonation kind of helps with the uh, refreshing acidity on it. I'd like to know more about the beer, but like, you know, I tried to look it up and all I could find was just whatever they said was just whatever was on the label here. So, I don't know. I'd like to know more. All right. So, yeah. Patches from Prairie. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good sour. A little fake, a little one note, but really tasty and really refreshing, easy to drink. So check that out on Tavor, and I will see you guys for the next review. Cheers. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.